Hello guys, so today this is the surprise that I have prepared for you. It is really different, I know, it is, I know that it is really weird to um, look at me on the TV, but I hope that you try to enjoy this new activity. Um, this is going to happen on Thursday, as I told you, and okay, so today we are going to start with the activity. So, as the previous class, we learned about present perfect. So remember, present perfect. So what are those characteristics? Subject plus um, have or has, depend of it, depending of it, if it is um, third person or, or not. And the verb, the next verb is in, per, in past participle plus uh, complement. So what it is important to take into account is that maybe in the past participle you can find regular or irregular verbs. So please take into account what we learned yesterday. Um, right now you are going to put in practice all those things in a photocopy in which you are going to put in practice all the things. If you have questions about that, you can ask me tomorrow and don't worry. So, also, what it is important, if we are going to ask something, what we are going or how we are going to ask. So, first, it is the auxiliary have or has plus the pronoun I, you, he, she, it, they, we, as you know, plus the past participle plus the complement and the question mark. Remember, it is really important the question mark. And at the end, how, how is the um, negative form? So the negative form is start also uh, pronoun, that it is I, you, he, she, it, we, they, uh, plus um, have or has, that it is the auxiliary, plus not, plus past participle, plus the complement. If you want to say hasn't, it is also possible, so remember that it is the short form. And if you want to say has not or have not, it is also possible. So guys, try to remember what we learned yesterday and I hope that you try to enjoy this new methodology. Love you guys. Kisses.